What's up, Reefers? Welcome to Alex Poor Corals. This is Alex Wilson, and this is my video log where you can learn from my mistakes, so come check it out. Okay, so this is a shot of a display today, right, Yellow Tang? And over here, I still got this uh, dinoflagellate nightmare, toxic nightmare. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, I um, it's just too strong it's coming back so I'm gonna try to lower down the lighting again but I'm, I'm just going with all blues this time all blues and on this one I'm running 25% uh, all blues and then on the 9 gallon or 9 20 gallon quarantine aquarium I'm doing 50% all blues so I'm just gonna go with that and uh, just be patient enough. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Just be patient enough for the diatoms or diatoms. These uh, dinoflagellates, this dinoflagellates nightmare form to just start to to, to uh, at least slow down. Place where I can't see them really good, and then slowly bring up the blues and, and just work with the blues up to ideally 100%, 100% on the blues. You know until I really see that it's really gone. And then once it is gone, then start working a little bit of the cool whites. And then I'm referring to the, the coloring on the radions, by the way. Right, Yellow Tang? And so, yeah, that's what I'm going to try to go with. And the idea here is that I should be able to... There should be enough light in the blues to sustain the Crocea clams as well as the Green Slammer Acropora. So I should be able to be enough for them even though I did lose the one crochet clam from the lower lighting intensity I believe but I just gotta give it one more shot and um, just go with um, the 100% blues and then see if it in it'll increase it from there and uh, it should be okay I gotta get used to looking at it in all blues I turn the lights on right now just so you guys can just for the filming of it so just so we can get some shots here it is right there netting toxic dinoflagellate nightmare there it is and yeah the old tang he is definitely still eating that's right this is a you heard me right folks the yellow tang is a dinoflagellate eating yellow tang and he likes to come up over here and just grab the big old nasty slices of the slimy slimy brown dinos and he eats it right up I don't know I guess He's just so much of it in here. He's just gotten used to it. He's taken a liking to it. And he's like, oh my god, this stuff is pretty good. Right, yellow tank, come over here. Alright. Come over here, eat the dinos for us. Dino eating time. Well, he's not gonna show up today. He's shy. Okay. Alright, other than that though, we can check everything. Ah, see everything's definitely elegance coral. Got the brown dinos, definitely weirded out because of the dinos and I can tell when the dinos go down and go up the uh, the corals such as the elegance they will uh, you know react when there's too many of them they won't get the polyp extension will start to close up and I go straight across the board with uh, his hammers and the mushrooms so everything and I just stirred it up yesterday stirred up the gravel gave everything a big stir up so yeah, I'm going to try and I'm trying to go with that, uh, and you know, it's good to try to keep an eye on the copepod population in here. For example, like I took, I, I can't see any of them, and uh, I even took a couple pieces of live rock out yesterday. You know, and took it out, and couldn't find any copepods on it whatsoever. Turned it over. Certainly had a bunch of uh, stomatella snails underneath it. And trying to have a bunch of those somatella snails absolutely everywhere, so gotta love them. And they're re reproducing really nicely in here, but no copepods. So, what am I gonna do about that? Well, I'm not sure. What are we gonna do? One option is to order some more from uh, Algae Barn, order a jar of copepods and add them in there uh, for a boost. Of them. I'm sure there's gotta be a bunch of uh, microscopic uh, copepods. In here, it's hard to believe that they could have died off somehow. Whether it was the ultrasonic um, insect rep repeller repellent, and like I had in my last video on, I did that. I have that, you know, it's an anti insect 
um, little plug-in device and had one in my living room right here, one in the kitchen. So in theory, it is possible. I think it also affects uh, rodents and that that are supposed to keep away. So it is possible that it did affect my population. I'm not sure, but um, you know, one way to clear it up would just be to add some more. Of course, come on. Are you eating the, what? Okay, talking about the copepods over here and now you start eating the dinos. All right. Anyway, so copepods, thinking about coming over here to the, well, I have a, some of them. I definitely did see a bunch of them on the rocks in the 20 gallon quarantine aquarium. So what I could do, well, I'm gonna wait until the, um, the two and a half months is up for the, for the velvet and um, and then uh, I go from there to see you know once the time is up and then I could I could bring stuff over from the coral quarantine into this aquarium right so then I could um, there's definitely see some cobalt pots in there so then I could add some some of the gravel and some of the rock over here from over here so Definitely see someone here as well. And got the lighting down in here as well. So, definitely have a bunch of the Stomatella snails in here too. And the copal pods, definitely a bunch of them in here. So, certainly could just wait until the timer's up on this one. And then um, transfer the stuff over along with the coral. So, guaranteed to get whole bunch of the copal pods in here shot of the clams and there, and here's a shot of the streaming your dino flagellate um, slime nightmare slime in a way but Mason the millipora is still alive I lost that fox flame fox flame is dead and gone that was there, but everyone else is still hanging on a little bit here. All right, guys. Well, that's the. Let's check out this side. Let's check out this side of it. What we got there? It is bird's nest. So we're still hanging on. It's still growing a little bit, even with these dino flagellates in here. Alright guys, well, I guess that's it, but check it out in the next episode to find out what's going on with the lower light intensity and if the dinos will go down and what has lived and what didn't make it. Alright, happy reefing guys, bye.